Today, we're gonna to make this super simple, incredibly useful rolling shop cart out of plywood. Now, the way it's constructed is very simple. You make some L-shaped brackets, you make four of them. These things that go right here. Then you make two boxes, which are gonna be the top and the bottom. Then you just fit those into the L brackets and screw them in. And then I cut some little panels to go in here to make it look nicer. Once you've done all that, you can throw a top on it. Um, this is a removable disposable top. Right now it's just a quarter inch of plywood. I'm probably gonna put some MDF or melamine or something on there eventually. Uh, once this gets all worn out and used up. It's super simple to build. Let's get started. Okay, so I made a mistake. I forgot to record this. I did not film myself cutting the plywood. Cutting plywood is simple. There's lots of videos online where people cut plywood and you can watch that if you really need to. All I did was uh, cut the plywood, put it on the table and film that. So there you go. Okay, so uh, this is like an accidental product review. Um, these corner mate clamp things that a dude here loaned me, um, they're okay. They're a little fiddly, and once they're on, it's kind of tricky to tell what's up. So instead, uh, I just made some of these guys. These are dead simple. Just two pieces of plywood, uh, which I then trimmed to make sure that was a perfect 90 degree edge. Cut off the corners to make it a little easier to handle. And I'll show you how you use them. The trick here is to kind of tighten it a little bit, but not much, and then just feel whether the joint is exactly how it should be. All right, got two spacers, make this go faster. So, I built my little frame here. It's pretty square, uh, but then I'm gonna square it up with the top. I know that this piece is square because I spent some time making sure that it was. I'm not gonna glue this onto here. This is actually gonna be the shelf. Uh, I'll make the top in a minute. I wanna be able to take these off. I may end up replacing the tops with some other kind of worktop, so we'll see. The main thing is you don't want to be able to feel any kind of a bump. When you finish doing this, assuming that your top piece is perfectly square, then your whole uh, little, I guess it's a torsion box, kind of, will be square. So these are going to go here. Right, but I wanted there to be a bit more support, so I'm gonna go right up under here. So I'll go in like that, and I'll put in screws from the side. Won't that be lovely? So, well. You could use double-sided tape for this as well. What I really did was make a big giant skateboard. Ooh, 
is going to do that four times, but I'm not going to film it because, you know, you get it. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm, att I'm attaching the top um, to these little guard guardrails. I just cut some pieces of three quarter inch plywood. I just had some scraps around. I'm going to glue them in there. I'm going to put one in each leg and then the top will just rest on that. So now the top will rest on that. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. maybe by like, I don't know, millimeter. So I'm just gonna flush those up real quick. So I can do that. <laughs> it's part of the design. These little pieces on here makes it look nicer and I want to have the top extend out to the edge. I'm not gluing these pieces on, I'm just going to nail them on, you know, with the brad nails. I'm feeling lazy? That's probably why. Come on, get in there. This looks nicer. I'm just going to put screws in the corners and like one or two other spots so that it will be secured. Uh, but easily removable. Okay, so I left this little quarter inch piece of the top just slightly proud by about like a sixteenth or something on two sides so I can trim it to fit perfectly. Um, I usually do that partly because I can get a better fit that way and partly because I really like using the router. It's really cool. Luckily, it does fit. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Okay, so there we go. I hope this has been useful to you. It certainly has to me. It's a great project, it's very simple. It's incredibly helpful to have if you're moving from one workshop to another. As I discovered, I use it as a dolly for my CNC machine and a bunch of other boxes and stuff. I'm looking forward to replacing the top. Uh, I use this quarter inch plywood because it's what I had, but uh, I'm gonna put some melamine on here, which is easier to clean glue off of. So please, you know, like and subscribe and you know how to work YouTube. Bye.